Welcome to Control Engineering Playlist. Here in this session, I'll be going to explain steady state error with unit ramp input. So this session includes explanation and calculation of steady state error provided input is unit ramp input. So basically in my previous session, I have already explained based on final value theorem, we can calculate steady state error and that is limit S tends to zero S of E of S where E of S is R of S divided by 1 plus G of S H of S where R of S is input signal and for this case R of S is ramp input signal. So by placing ramp input signal we can be able to calculate steady state error. So this is what I have already explained in my last session. So you can check out steady state error by final value theorem I have already explained. So you can study it from there. So let us have input which is unit ramp input. So if we apply unit ramp input, so for unit ramp input, our R of S that will be 1 divided by S square. So for unit ramp input R of S that is 1 divided by S square and if we place that into the steady state error formula then steady state error that will be ESS that is equals to limit S tends to 0 S into R of S that is 1 divided by S square divided by 1 plus G of S H of S. Let us simplify this. So S and S square that is can get S is getting cancelled. So you will be having steady state error that is limit S tends to 0. This 1 S that will go in denominator. So it will make it to S plus S of g of s h of s. Now if you resimplify this you will be finding this is 1 divided by this s tends to 0 so it will make it to 0 plus limit s tends to 0 s of g of s h of s. Where if you see my last session I have already explained this is velocity error constant. So limit S tends to 0 S of G of S H of S that is velocity error constant. So we can say steady state error that is 1 divided by KV where KV is limit S tends to 0 S of G of S H of S that is velocity error constant. So for ramp input steady state error is 1 divided by kv. Now I will explain calculation of steady state error for type 0 system, type 1 system and type 2 system. So for type 0 system number of poles for type 0 system number of poles at origin that is equals to 0. So for type 0 system number of poles at origin is 0. So transfer function will be G of S H of S that will be K into S plus Z1 S plus Z2 likewise it will be there and denominator that will be S plus P1, S plus P2 likewise it will be there where you can find number of poles at origin is 0. Now we have already derived steady state error, steady state error for <coughs> ramp input signal it is ESS is equals to 1 by KV where KV is limit S tends to 0 G of S 
h of s so that is what we have already derived so let us play this place this type 0 system into kv so we'll be having kv so we have kv now so kv is equals to limit s tends to 0 and g s of g of s so s into g of s h of s so just place this so k into s plus z1 s plus z2 so on divided by s plus p1 s plus p2 so on so if you place limit s tends to 0 in this you will be finding 0 the reason is in numerator there is 0 so value of kv that is 0 so kv is equals to 0 for type 0 system now based on that we can have steady state error so steady state error is 1 by kv so 1 by 0 means infinite so steady state error that is infinite for type 0 system provided input is ramp input signal so this is how we can identify steady state error is infinite for type 0 system with input is unit ramp input let us calculate steady state error for type 1 system provided input is unit ramp input so for type 1 system for type 1 system number of poles at origin that is equals to 1 now we can say its transfer function could be g of s h of s that is k into s plus z s plus z1 s plus z2 divided by number of poles at origin is 1 so in denominator it should be s into s plus p1 s plus p2 and so on so here in this transfer function you can see number of poles at origin that is equals to 1 so now we will be calculating this kv that is limit s tends to 0 g of s g o s of s into g of s h of s so once we calculate kv we can have steady state error so let us calculate kv so here kv is equals to limit s tends to 0 s into g of s h of s so that g of s h of s that one can see that is what k into s plus z1 s plus z2 and so on divided by s into s plus p1 s plus p2 and so on so let us simplify this this s and this s will get cancelled so you will be finding if you place limit inside then it will be k into s is 0 so k into z1 z2 and so on divided by p1 p2 and so on so it is somewhat constant so kv is constant now here we know steady state error ess that is 1 divided by kv so kv is constant so 1 by constant you can find steady state error that is constant so steady state error is constant for type 1 system provided input is unit ramp input now let us calculate steady state error for type 2 system provided input is unit ramp input so what is type 2 system so for type 2 system number of poles at origin that is 2 so number of poles at origin is 2 for type 2 system 
so if you see its transfer function you will be finding g of s h of s that is k into s plus z1 s plus z2 and so on divided by number of poles at origin is 2 so denominator is having s square into s plus p1 s plus p2 and so on so this is what transfer function for type 2 system now let us calculate kv so kv that is velocity error coefficient and that is limit s tends to 0 s of g of s h of s and g of s h of s for type 2 system that is k into s plus z1 s plus z2 and so on divided by s square into s plus p1 s plus p2 and so on so ultimately this s will get cancelled so this will be having s in denominator and if you place limit s tends to 0 in denominator there will be 0 so 1 by 0 means kv will be infinite so kv is infinite so we can say steady state error that will be 1 by kv and 1 by kv that is 1 by infinite means 0 so steady state error for type 2 system is 0 provided input is unit ramp input so this is how we can identify steady state error with input unit ramp input with type 0, type 1 and type 2 system. Thank you so much for watching this video. In next session, I will be explaining steady state error calculation with unit parabolic input signal. Thank you so much for watching this video. You can suggest me those videos which is required to complete control engineering. If I have understanding based on your need, definitely I will try to help you out for same. Thank you so much for watching this video.